All right, so here's the situation. We got these guys on public land, so they wouldn't let us film. So, so I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to walk you guys through how I'm going to boil the skull today. It's the first time ever doing it, but I want to get it all nice and cleaned off. Nice little alligator skull to put up in a nest. I would show you guys how we clean them. YouTube doesn't quite like that. I might try and see if I can get a little time lapse snuck in without getting demonetized or flagged or anything like that. But we got a lot of work to do, and it's already lunchtime, so let's get after it. All right, well, it's a couple of two, three weeks later, and we're finally getting around to burrowing them little alligator heads. But let me show you what we did uh, off camera. I wish I could have did it on camera. Kind of ran out of time. Been a crazy month, but huh? Huh? There we go. The big old nine footer right there. We got them tanned and spread out drying. That's the six foot nine. That's the old eight footer right there. And this is the solution in the garbage can that is soaked in. I got a. Uh, well, you can't see. It's pretty dark. Actually, got some squirrel tails in there right now. Uh, marinating getting a little tan this stuff right here is a solution to neutralize the tan but you know i didn't film a lot if you guys really want to see that make sure you let me know in the comments and then uh, next time we get some alligator tags we'll make sure we go through that whole process but we kind of like i said kind of ran out of time what is going on with my camera something's messed up <laughs> there we go <laughs> but yeah so there it is so um you know just let me know and i'll uh, make sure we get that done next time we get some tags but so here it is the setup that we're going to be using to do the burling i got the uh this old pot here my old pot you can see i got some dye in it that's what i used to dye my, my traps because i really don't want to boil alligator heads in my crawfish pot even though i guess it wouldn't affect anything it's just meat and flesh but i really don't need a hundred quart pot for this either so that'll work out just fine By the way, I've, I've never done this before, so. But I watched a couple videos on YouTube on how to do this, and I talked to my buddy Derek Plaisance, who's a taxidermist, and I've got some contradicting uh, information and instructions on how this is about to go. First of all, one says make sure it's frozen when you start it. Throw it in the pot, let it heat up gradually. The other one says whatever you do, don't use a frozen head. Make sure it's thawed out. Well, all I have is a frozen head, so... That's what we're going with today. And we're only doing one today, so if that somehow doesn't work out very well, next time we'll do the defrosted head. But one says use soap or some kind of OxyClean in there when you boil it for the first time. The other one says, nah, you don't need to do that. I don't even have any OxyClean, but I think I'm gonna put a little bit of Dawn, a little blue Dawn, because that stuff apparently works for everything. So I'm gonna throw a little bit of that in there. Maybe it'll separate the grease. Maybe it'll make the skin separate from the bone a little easier. Maybe it don't do anything. Maybe it ruins the whole daggum thing. I guess I need to go get the head. Ain't gonna do no good in the freezer. Got that big dog. Big dog! Go ahead and ease her on in. Woo child. Tell you what, let's turn them the other way. I don't know why, just cause I feel like how that is. Yeah. She covered up all the way. Got blown up. 
Okay. Well, so everybody agrees that once the skin starts moving a little bit on the head, then it's time to pressure wash or to take out and pressure wash. But the top layer did this, a little piece fell off, but I don't know. So I'm gonna pull it out and give it a try. If it doesn't work, then we'll put it back in and burl some more. Ooh! Hey, Come on now. There she goes. Let's take her out to the driveway. because I got as much as I could off with the pressure washer. Now I need to separate the jaw and start getting that meat out of it. And when I was starting to pull the meat, they're pretty raw, holding on to that skull pretty tight. So I need to uh, try and loosen that up a little bit. I'm not gonna leave it in there too long because I don't know, I'm, I'm sure it's possible to boil it too long, seeing that everybody said, don't boil it too long. So I'm at least trying to make it to where there's no blood because there was still a little blood up in there and up in the meat. So once that's done, Try and start yanking some of that out of there by hand. And then we'll finish it off with the pressure washer again, in theory. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take it out. Cause we can always boil it some more, but we can't exactly unboil it, so. It's a little warm. All right. I don't know. Still seems pretty tough, but we're gonna try and get as much of this off as we can. That way, when we go back with the pressure washer, it won't be as hard. Oh, I don't know. I can't get the jaw separated. Maybe we still gotta boil it some more. I don't know. Come on now. Come on now. Give me that. Give me. Some. Ooh, got the brain oozing out. Man, I don't know what to do. Hmm. Hmm. Put some of this meat here, man. See, that meat's still cool up in there, actually. Ain't even warm. Yeah, see, that's how it needs to come out like that. If I could get it to come out like that. But they don't all want to do that. And I don't know. I don't want to overball it. I don't know how much that mess it up. I ain't getting too far like this, though. I know that. Oh, that ain't good, no. Mm. Look at that. Woo. I'm gonna be right back. So I put a whole bunch of liquid bandage on there, slapped some uh, butterfly stitches, wrapped it in a big old band-aid, and shoved this bad boy on there so I can't bend it. Uh, still might need stitches. I don't know. But for now, we're just gonna make do with what we got. I'm gonna got now, English is tough. But now I got to figure out how we're gonna do all of this without getting this thing all wet and infected. So I got some duct tape and a plastic bag, but there is some rubber gloves. We're gonna see, I don't know, let's see. I got a feeling that ain't gonna work. Hopefully this will work. Popped it yet? I think we good. Although it's pushing this thing on my finger a little hard. Might be all right. Kind of hurts a little bit. I just don't know how easy this stuff's supposed to come out. Cause it ain't coming out very easy. Let's try opening the mouth again. Oh, that's easier. That's way easier. Oh. Whew. All right, now we got that separated. <laughs>
I reckon that's as good as this one get with the pressure washer. So I got a little few little pieces parts up in there, up in the inside that I'm gonna have to pick out by hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and I'm gonna leave it outside to dry. And hopefully, if there's anything else up in there, maybe some ants will get out there and clean it for me. And then, uh, yeah, we'll pick this back up when it's all done. Hard in the progress going on in the background, a beep, beep, beep. But here it is. This is the skull all cleaned up. Uh, I took my time, got all up in there as far back as I could. Smells like some rotten shrimp that's been sitting by the marina for a few days, but uh, hopefully that'll go away soon. It's actually still in two different pieces. They got the top jaw and the head and that bottom jaw piece like that. I don't think I'm gonna glue them together. I think I'm just gonna let them sit one right on top of the other while it's up there. And I don't really have a reason. Just, it's what I wanna do. But that's pretty much gonna wrap this one up, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't. Let me know if you like this kind of video and you want to see some more similar things and such, or you just want me to get back to the good old hunting and fishing. But uh, yeah, that's that's uh, that's pretty much it. Love you. Bye.